Have you ever had a time in your life when you found something and you decided it was the thing you needed to move your life forward and you tried really hard and you got it? And then after the excitement of getting it wore off, you're like, wait a minute, why did I want this thing again? And have I made a terrible mistake? The reason I ask is because I think I'm going through that right now. This is Stanford University, a school that has produced Nobel laureates, great thinkers, famous actors, politicians, professional athletes, and about four years ago, they let me in to do my PhD in education. Now, you might think that I was able to get in here just based on my good looks and my charm, but it actually took a lot more than that. For the three years prior, basically every professional academic decision I made I made to try to be more appealing to a place like Harvard or Stanford or one of these top schools. And the first year here was great. I was super excited to get in and I was taking all kinds of courses, you know, jazz guitar and improv comedy and education theory and archery. And I was sort of spreading my educational wings, but I was having these conversations with my peers and the same themes kept coming up over and over and over. And one particular thing started to concern me. I realized that all of my colleagues had a clear destination in mind. They were using their PhD to get somewhere and they couldn't get there without this degree. And I realized I didn't have that and I was just learning because I loved learning. So I realized if I was gonna make it through all the difficulty and challenge and nonsense that a PhD program entails, I needed a clear destination. I needed to imagine a career that I needed a PhD to have. I embraced the challenge of trying to figure out who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do in the world for about, you know, six months. I was dividing my brain into sort of three pieces. A third was for imagining life without a PhD. So I was applying for jobs and having conversations with people and trying to see, you know, what could I do like if I were to leave school. I spent another third of my brain imagining an ideal future where I could use a PhD, but not just use a PhD, I wanted to bring together everything about my life and my experiences and my professional life into a career that was like uniquely mine. Because if I imagine a career that took advantage of everything I've ever done, then really no one could be better at it than me unless they'd have the same set of experiences and everyone is different. But then I saw a documentary that crystallized what I wanted to do and who I wanted to be and it set me on the path that I'm on today. It was the Fred Rogers, Mr. Rogers documentary and in the clip that I saw, he was sitting in front of Congress and he was talking about children's programming and probably all the people he was talking to who had kids knew him because he was in their homes all the time. And I think that one of the most valuable things you can do for people is to help them, you know, support the development of their children. And he did that. And once you do that, you have all these other opportunities that come from that. And I thought for me, thinking about his show, there was music and there was, you know, talking about emotions and there was fun and laughter and learning and all of those things taken together, they line up with all the things I've done and all the things that I'd like to be. And so that's my goal now. I wanna be the next Mr. Rogers and I think I can do it. In the next like year and a half, I need to finish the PhD. I need to create and produce a children's TV show and doing those both at the same time is pretty challenging. But if I end up in a situation at the end of this where I have a doctorate and I have a successful kids TV show, there's so many opportunities open to me that would not be open to people who have one or the other. The rest of this channel going forward, it's not gonna be about my history so much. It's gonna be about creating this character, creating this series, finishing my PhD, and doing it all, you know, with my mental health and sanity intact.